Oh, it's going to be a good show. Short show, half an hour, but still <laughs> packed with good stuff. Welcome to Central Valley Today, everybody. I'm Alex Delgado. And I'm Stephanie Bainham. Thank you so much for joining us. And we're going to kick off today's show by catching a wave. <laughs> but, you know, this isn't your average surf wave. The Central Valley is actually home to the perfect wave. The machine that creates that mean wave is located at the Surf Ranch in Lemoore. It was designed by pro surfer Kelly Slater with the help of the World Surf League. The ranch held its first public event, the World Surf League Founders Cup, back in May. And the crowds will be heading to the South Valley yet again because another competition is coming up. And here with more on the event that promises some serious entertainment and, of course, lots of surfing is the Surf Ranch General Manager, Sam Ramirez. And joining him, we are lucky to have Carissa Moore. She's a three-time world champion from Honolulu, Hawaii, who is training there at the ranch right now. Welcome, both of you, to the show. It's great to have you here. Chris, I've got to start with you, though. Um, you've trained, obviously, all over the world. World. You're from Hawaii. Tell me about what makes this wave so special that you are here not only training but will compete at the Surf Ranch. Um, well, the future is now. You know, mm -hmm. this is the future of surfing and the future of our sport. Um, you know, wave pools are so different. Um, you know, there's consistent waves, repetition. We're able to practice the same maneuvers over and over again and, and create a run for the event, which is going to be something that's totally different because in the ocean, everything's very spontaneous and you're always having to think on your feet. So yeah. um, I'm really looking forward to approaching this event a little bit differently. Yeah. Oh, I bet. And remind folks, Sam, about the Surf Ranch Pro because that's the big event that's coming up yeah. in September. Absolutely. So September 6th to 9th out in Lemoore, uh, we're going to have, it's stop number eight on the, uh, the championship tour. And so Chris and all of our other championship tour athletes are going to be out surfing all weekend and uh, putting on a really good show for us. So tell us about the actual facility there because, you know, it's supposed to have beach vibes. And then, <laughs> I mean, Blink-182 is going to yeah. be here. And this is all in Lemoore. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's kind of the, the thing that people uh, get have to get used to is the uh -huh. idea that it is yeah. more. We're 100 miles from the ocean and we've got a man-made wave mm -hmm. and a place that feels like you're at a resort, at a beach, and yes. it is in Lemoore. So we've got quite a bit of land out there. Uh, we've got a lake with a beach. We've got a uh, Carver wave bank. We've got the pool itself. We've got all kinds of activities, uh -huh. stand-up paddle boarding, things for guests to do. And so the event itself um, is going to have music and food and really cool vibe and of course Blink-182 on Saturday night. So. Oh, too, too fun. Well, Carissa, talk about your love of surfing mm -hmm. and how it became a job for you. Uh, well, I'm, I'm really blessed. I'm, I'm living the best life right now. It's, you know, I get to do something I love every day and be in the ocean as my office. Um, yeah. I started surfing when I was four, four or five years old back at home in Honolulu with my dad yeah. and um, ever since I've been hooked. Oh, wow. <laughs> so and special. This, this is really becoming like a woman's sport, isn't it? You know, more and more, um, you know, the girls are really stepping it up. Mm -hmm. And with the support of the World Surf League, um, you know, they've gotten us better venues and really raised the prize money and given us more recognition. So um, it's nice to have that re respect and appreciation and a platform to really show our stuff. Yes. <laughs> we're so excited. We're all about girl power here. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> we're so thrilled that you are here. So, Sam, for the public, how can they get involved with Surf Ranch Pro? Do we have to buy tickets to this event? Kind of explain that part. Yeah. So there are tickets for the event. You can go to WSL surfpro.com and you've got all kinds of information there's single day tickets as well as tickets for the entire event mm -hmm. through the weekend mm -hmm. so you can be a part of all of it wow wow so can people though surf on the wave as well sam or no so, so that weekend we're that reserving work? all the waves for, for the all the CCs. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> they'll, uh, they'll do uh, a much better job than i would or mm -hmm. anyone else out there so we're going to let them have the pool that weekend but it's a really awesome opportunity I mean, even if you're not a surfing fan even if you don't know who some of our surfers are mm -hmm. um, i promise you by the end of the weekend if you come out you certainly will, oh, and you'll, you'll yeah. have a real appreciation for what they do out there. Well, I love what you said about this being the future of surfing, yeah. but also speaking of future, the Olympics is going to have surfing, I hear, in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you're preparing for or want to apply for? Um, well, I think the big qualification process will happen next year, so I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Yeah. I'm someone who definitely wants to let her actions speak louder than her words, so mm -hmm. um, I definitely, it's a dream of mine to yes. qualify and be a part of the Olympics and be a part of the tradition and the history but um, I'm, you know, keep my head down and, and work towards that Aww, goal. So yeah, humble. that's so good. I, I've got to ask because this is a repetitive wave, right? It's, so it's a perfect wave every time, is what they say. Is it easier to surf on this wave than to surf in the ocean, or is it? I would think it would be no, because in the ocean it's so unpredictable. What, um, there's just different challenges. Um, you know, it's all about timing in this wave, and ah. you know, if there's different pressures you have, you have one chance, and mm. it's crazy when you hear the machine go. 
there's this like this wow. d d d d the butterflies <laughs> start and you know it's being able to stay level-headed and um, you know but at the same time let it flow yes. it's just finding that balance wow. does it take some different techniques because it is so structured or or so mechanical mm -hmm. um i think for the biggest difference is just the preparation because a normal wave in the ocean is probably 15 to 20 seconds mm -hmm. at the most and this uh -huh. wave is 47 seconds wow. long wow. and so different. it's just a lot of um you know in the ocean you're paddling more than you're actually surfing and using your legs mm -hmm. and in the pool it's flipped so you're really? you're using your legs so much more you're and you're waiting um and not using your arms so it's just um a lot of cardio and a lot of leg strength. Incredible, yeah. yeah. So th this is this has only been open for a, a short amount of time, right? So what kind of reaction do you get from pros? And you can answer this question too, Chris. When you first heard, I'm going to go, what? Surf in a what and where? W what was your first reaction? What, Chris, <laughs> first do you go? And yeah. then Sam. <laughs> oh my gosh, well, um, you know, we'll rewind years back um, when Kelly released his first video and he like literally rocked the world. Mm -hmm. And we were like, wait, is this real? Oh! How can I get my golden <laughs> ticket to Kelly's Wave Ranch? Oh, wow. um, and I remember getting the call after one of the events in Australia and he's like, would you like to come surf my oh, wave pool? And I was like, yes, of course. Oh, wow. And it was like the full red carpet. You know, he really, they, the whole ranch took care of us, you know, fed us good food. I got to.